don't know. Or Fox, because... Just because we play Zord characters, it's not optimal. <laughs> oh no, I don't like... I don't like to play optimal, but like... Well, I mean, yeah, I don't play optimal because it's optimal. I play optimal because I want to play the character. Or, you know, of Effectively, efficiently. Of course. Of course. Blah, zitty, blah, zitty, blah. Mucho blah, blah, blah. But, my point is that Swordies are just cool, dog. Like, they are. Yeah. Who doesn't want to swing a sword? Who doesn't want to hit you with the Now, sword? one thing that I do not like about Swordies, I feel like if they get out zoned, they are in such a crippling state. Oh, yeah. That's true. Like, I feel like if somebody, like with Mario, if he gets out zoned, then he's just like, his next uh, follow up choice is okay, you can box me out, so I'm going to just make sure I get in. Right. Super close. Super close, yeah. With a swordy, that is not an option. Well, Unless you're Roy. Unless you're Roy. <laughs> or Krom. Unless you're Roy or Krom. Because yeah. if you're Ike. I know what you mean, though. If you're Ike, you get punished. Right. Ike, you have to space. Right. Ike, you know, slower, so it's Although like Ike is very. Ike is probably the best at spacing. His sword is sure. ridiculously I mean, huge. big, so it's like, yeah, for sure. But, but he's also slow, so it's hard, too. It's, but it's a, yeah. I'll play Marth, and I'll forward tilt with and get kicked by Samus. And I'm oh, like. True. No, Not me. True. I mean, sure. I mean, believe me, I have my own troubles with Sam. It's like trying to trying to get in close for a sweet spot fair when she fares you. It's like, oh well, there's yep. a flame wall like right in front of my face. Yep. I can't do anything. And then I, I, I always have the monkiest brain of moments where I'm me just too. like, oh, I got hit by Samus. I need to jump so I can recover. And then I'm like, oh wait, that's a firewall, isn't it? Yeah, it's so dumb. Well, let me eat that. And now I don't have a jump. So. Uh, and I'm done. And her dare is yeah. kind of gross. I know. I don't want to get hit by that. For sure. Her up air is good. Man. Samus has got a good aerial game. It's pretty solid. Pretty good aerial game. But, um, of course, if you're a sortie, you just throw out a non-tangible hitbox. That's right. That's so, right. You know, that's always fun. But, all right, guys. We're just Jeff trying looks, to... Jeff, it looks like he's played Nets. Nets. Ugh. And, sorry, guys. We're, we're that trying to... actually doesn't sound that unfamiliar to me i mean i think that seems right like i mean i think i've seen jeff play so yeah looks like it all right, right cool, so cool. Get into it. so we got backwards gun jeff starting off with squirtle hey hey that's starting the, off with backwards that's the ballsy gun. move that's the right. ballsy move starting off with squirtle hey that's the only way to start off with squirtle you do that let's get I some more squirtle this. play <laughs> let's get into game one here backwards gun and jeff Right. Ooh. Both players trying to get some bearings, uh, trying to get their bearings, trying to keep uh, keep spacing on each other. I think uh, PK Fire will be a, obviously it's a big part of his play in general, but I think that'll be very key in this matchup. For sure. I mean, they're both so small, so it's like, you know, they're good size for each other. It's a good matchup for Egg, I think, in this, in this beginning. You can only say that for a little bit, because a down B will quickly change the matchup. Oh, yeah. I mean, Squirtle obviously a much lighter character, so going to have to be careful. Uh, I think he'll, and this is what I was worried about. Right. Now, the reason why I say the PK Fire will have to come out a lot more is because if he wants to contest that Razor Leaf, right. or he can do that. I didn't know he could absorb it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. Nice but it doesn't closing. matter, bro. What? Yeah. I'm serious. Like, Ivysaur is so oppressive. His range just makes no sense in my opinion. And, and the combo into up B is so strong. Like, up B as a kill move, why? Why Why can you do that? I don't know. It's strong. Yeah, I didn't think that. Yeah. Okay. But Jevin closing it back out, getting it back to even. Now, see, I think Backwards God is the only person I've seen that opts not to make any, uh, make any Charizard plays. Okay, yeah, so yeah. So he yeah. sticks a lot with Squirtle. For over, sure. Uh, Charizard. Yeah, he immediately switches out. Like, not even going to play around. Hey man, sometimes that flare blitz is all you need. That's right. I mean, it can help, but I mean, I think a lot of times people expect it. That's fair. Oh, wow, another upbeat combo. Bro, it's, it's so insane. I know. What are you supposed to do? You, like, just, get, you just get hit, though. And it's such a weird point because it's like you're up and to the left, like, you don't think you should get hit by anything, but he's got something that can hit you. No, dog. No, you just get hit every time. Every time. Okay, nice. Good oh, yo yo. Okay. Okay, didn't miss time the second one. Yeah, so that's one thing he's going to have to watch out for. 
And if he does whiff again like that, he's definitely just going to have to hurry up and get off the ledge. Because as we saw... Oh, wow. Whoa. That wasn't even over the ledge. That was just... That was on the flat part of the platform. I think he would have been better if he would have snapped to the ledge rather than using I, the... Uh, exactly. Yeah, he was trying okay. to slap. Okay. Okay, so actually wow. making some plays it with... Uh, blitz, but it was for recovery. I think he's going to have to start doing that more. Yeah. Which we, we see a lot of people actually do with Charizard yeah, instead yeah, of yeah. actually playing him they just recover with him right because it's a bit of a mix to do it as like a you know just the recovery is like you know they kind of expect some some sort of attack to kind of get you off of it and it's also safer seeing as how you can switch between uh Absolutely. the pokemon get those oh wow wow he held up the up he held the up smash to the right wow there. i was not expecting that i know i mean that's the thing backwards got win for the dare but um got punished for it yeah but 2-0 2-0 or a two stock. Or two stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I but know what you mean. I know that, what you mean. Two stock. Yeah. Yes. That was that was impressive play. That was Jevin. impressive for sure. Jevin really, you know, showing that Ness was a good choice. I didn't think it'd be that much of an impressive match. Yeah, me either. But I think you know, again, it's game one. We'll see. We'll see what game two is like. We'll see if they can uh, feel more comfortable the next one. I think backward God, backwards God, needs to feel a bit more comfortable. Uh, FD, I like this pick. I think it's good. I think uh, it'll work for him. I think it'll work for. I mean, honestly, I think it's going to be good for both, but I think it favors Pokemon Trainer better. Uh, I think, I think Backwards God is definitely hurting from being zone. I feel like he's used to being the zoner, not yeah. the zone E, and it's he's true. definitely feeling the oppression from all those options. And I think the Ivysaur Ness matchup means that Ness can zone him better, and so as Ivysaur, like you don't, I think the other two characters don't have a lot of zoning opportunities, so. You really rely on Ivysaur to do all the zone for you. Okay, so smart move by using the Flare Blitz to get out of that right. oppression. Wow. Man, that's... That. It's good, but, I mean, it's not infallible. Okay. You know, it's not a perfect move, which is good. You know, Backwards God finding the ways to, to recover still, even though the, the, the yo-yo is there. For sure. I like how he's using the, uh, the Charizard to up the... Right. Armor through his bad situation. Exactly. His situation. You know, if he gets hit by it, he's still close enough that he can get back up on the ledge and snap to it uh, quick enough. But despite that, homeboy losing out his first stock. I know. Backwards guy just getting beat. I know, but Jeb, you know, obviously, you know, 62%. You can make a lot happen with that as Pokemon training. Mm. I just hadn't seen him before. Didn't know his uh, nest was this dirty. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see him last week, but um, I've seen him in, in a couple weeks prior. Not not play-wise, but I've seen him rise through the bracket wow. a little bit. I, I see that. He is just completely shaken and stirred backwards, God. Yeah. Ooh, good, good pick up. But, uh, good throw. Oh, try to catch him. Is this nice matchup that bad? bad? Um, I can't imagine. I can't imagine it would be, but it's very possible. It looks like Jevin's not using a whole lot of like effort. It's making this look very easy. First oh, time. turning for the second one? Okay, good. Very good with this character, definitely knowing the Oh up nice. Forward. There's there's an up air. Good. Alright, go ahead pop off backwards guy. You get it. You gotta get one. You gotta get one. Can't, it can't get three stocked on stream? No, nah, yeah, you can't allow that. And that's the thing, you know, Backwards got trying to bait out the PK fires to go in, but it's hard because, you know, Jevin's throwing them out at the right times. Yeah, he's. I feel like uh, Jevin's actually not throwing out as much PK fire as I would anticipate right. that he would need. Okay. And still making sure that he's going for the optimal place. There's the FP place. <laughs> you got it. All right. <laughs> So I mean, backwards yeah. guy popping off. For now, for now. Hey, he's still got, hey, some, still hey, got some work hey, to do. I don't... <laughs> oh, nice up here. Okay. Oh, so close. It's actually getting really close up here. All right, so backwards guy. Um, backwards guy giving us a show, but... Oh no! Oh, come on! Okay. Well, that one was a rough, rough one for that one. Rough recovery on that one, but that's okay. You know, backwards guy 